All right. Hey, you guys. Have you ever bought a lipstick and it just wasn't quite the right shade? And you always thought, oh, I just wish it was, you know, a little bit pinkier or a little bit more opaque or a little bit um, deeper. Yeah, that's happened to me too. I'm going to show you how to make your own lipstick from what you've already got. And then I know everyone has been there where we have this little issue. I'm going to do this so I don't make a mess. The broken compact. Oh my gosh, what did you pay for that? I'm dying right now. That costs so much money. And this could be a compact, it could be blush, it could be eyeshadow, you get the point. Anything that was compressed and compact and now is cracked and broken, you go, what do I do? I paid so much for it. So I'm gonna show you how to fix that too. Plus, well, I got a little, I got little um, hacks on nail polish as well and all kinds of stuff that I do myself. It's kind of crazy. Someone thought it would be a good idea for me to make this video. I don't know. That's just what I do at home. So anyway, I'm going to break this compact up and just to simulate what happens, right? All that. Why aren't I using the brown one? I'll show you in a minute. Um, so let's just take it and you go, oh my gosh, I cracked it all up. What I want you to do, crack the whole thing up. Yeah. Once it's cracked, crack the whole thing up. Don't worry, it's gonna be okay. I'm a highly trained professional. Here we go. So just get it all out. Let me keep my head out of the way. So we're gonna get it all out of there. Okay, and there it is. Cry, take a few moments to just let those tears roll and then put it aside because I'm gonna fix this for you really, really fast. But while we're here, I'm just gonna say, um, I've gotten, and crack it all up, I mean powder it, pummel it, take it down to nothing. Um, I have gotten some of them where powders, um, uh, foundations, blushes that, again, I wish they were just a little more pink. I wish they had a little more coral in them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take what I have. You don't have to do this, but if you, you know, if you love the shade that you have and you love what's going on, fine, great. Just keep pummelizing it. I'm going to add a little pink to it because this actually wasn't quite my shade and I wanted it just a little more pink. So, but you don't have to do that. So now we have pummeled up, right? But now we take it down even further. Go ahead and mix it. And what I want to tell you is as you do this, you want to get it as powdery as you can. As powdery, fine, powdery as you can. We're going to reconstitute the whole thing and make it a solid in no time at all. Now, there it is. But remember, you can add whatever you want. Let's say uh, I'm looking at it and I'm going, you know what? It just needs a little more tan tan in it. So I'm going to take my tan tan, as I call it, and add a little tan tan. Um, so there it is. Now, you want to know why I was busting this one up for no reason? Because I'm actually going to do a dual compact. Let's face it, when we're out and about, um, do you really only use... I don't know, you really only use one powdery thing and then you bring a blush and then you bring a compact and then you bring, I'm gonna show you how to put it all in one. My blush and my powder in one. This is one that I made. This is what you and I are going to make. Now, if you're going to ask, well, you're crazy. I just want a little bit of powder. Great, you're going to compress everything and you're gonna fill this whole thing in with your powder of choice. But I gotta tell you, this rocks because I've got my powder, I've got my blush, I've got everything. By the way, notice these things, I don't know. We'll talk about that too. All right, so let's finish pulverizing everything. Just pulverize it. Take it down to nothing powder. Now, the next part. You guys might have seen this on the internet or whatever. It's everywhere. I didn't make this up. But people will say to add alcohol to it. I say no because alcohol is drying and you're going to put this on your face. Who wants alcohol on their face drying you up in your makeup? No. So I always use water and I start with very little drops, just very little drops. And watch what happens. You see how it bubbles up? That tells me that this makeup, see it bubbling when I hit the water and go very little at a time. We're going to add a little bit at a time. That tells me that this makeup has moisturizer in it. Do you see that? It also tells me I'm going to have to work this a lot more than something that doesn't have moisturizer in it. So when you see those little bubbles, do not give up. All you have to do is press that water into that powder. Just keep pressing the water into the powder. I'm going to add a little more. What we're looking to make is almost like a paste, as thick as possible, but something I can still manipulate. You see that? Don't give up. Look at how it wants to separate. Don't give up. Just keep pressing the powder 
into it and eventually you will get that paste. Even though you keep seeing, oh my gosh, the water keeps running away from the powder. It's never going to mix. Yes, it will. It'll mix little by little and that's what you want to do. So there it is. Look at that. Trying to separate. I press it back into position. Keep pressing, pressing. And eventually that is going to work itself into a paste. Okay. So now we have the paste and just work at it. Don't, don't get discouraged. Don't be like, oh my gosh, it's puddling out. It's not working. It will work. Here's what you want. So I went ahead and I did this one too, because remember, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to go all the way with it. Do you really think I'm going to put all that work back into a plastic case? Oh, no way. I visit, and if you look over here, I visit all of these little like thrift stores and little antique shops, and I'm a bit of a um, compact junkie. Yeah, look at this. This is a Stratton from England. Isn't it beautiful? But I do it with lipsticks too. Anywho, so let's get this out, right? Isn't this beautiful? So when I open it up, you're going to notice, let me open it towards you. First, and this is a big mistake people make, is they try to open this. You don't. You pull, 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 and it will pop all by itself. And to close it, it's backwards. So what I do, obviously, because I am worked in a hospital, so I'm all about germs and keeping things really clean and everything, this gets disinfected. Okay, I pick it up. It's an antique, but it gets disinfected, and then I use it. So this is what we're going to use right now. And if you're going, what's that? Watch this. There's a couple things that we can do with this. First, can you guess what this is? Wrong. It's not lipstick. It's actually a little brush that I made that I put into the lipstick. Look at that. So no more makeup brush that's floating around your bag in a plastic baggie. Nope. I just take a little lipstick brush and not lipstick brush, a little makeup brush and I glue it right into a used lipstick tube. And then this goes right in there. So if I want to, I can do that. But you know what I'm going to do with this, right? We're going to do a lipstick in there. Then here's what I do. I do half and half. And I probably do a little bit more of, look at how pinky peach that is. See, because that pink that I put in there, now it's got a little bit of a pinky peach to it. And all you do is you'll take it and put it into half of it. Half of it. Because the other half I'm going to do in the bronzer. That's what it looks like. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my spoon and I'm just going to start leveling it. Just lovingly taking it all the way to the edges first. All the way to the edges. If you're going, oh, okay, I got it, I got it. Don't. Because there's something important at the end that you have to do or it'll ruin everything. So don't click off because I have to tell you that. I'll tell, I promise to tell you it too. All right, so I take these and I do disinfect them. Um, I, I never get water near these mirrors, near these antique mirrors or any mirrors really. But what I do is I can wipe it down with alcohol um, I'll clean it with metal cleaner. I just make sure that I have this absolutely clean, clean, clean. All right, now you can see where I'm going with this. Now remember, don't stop watching the video. This very important part at the end that you do not want to miss. You can see too that I've gotten it all the way to the edges and I'm going to start kind of smushing it down so it's level so that when I close this door, it's all going to fit right. A little bit hard to do backwards, you know, from the back, but I'm going to get this done right. Now, I'm a little bit, I have a little bit too much here because I still have to get my, um, my bronzer in. So I'm just going to scoop this out, put it back in my little thing, and then I'm going to keep taking it down. And that looks pretty good, actually. Now I'm going to add the bronzer. Okay, and this I'll add little by little. And I'm going to make a straight line with it. And then I'll just start packing that right down. Add a little more, pack it down. See how it's starting to focus on a line in between the two? The important thing that I have to tell you is do not close this compact until that water is all evaporated out. And I'm going to tell you how you do that and what you do. Because if you close this before all of this water is out of it, um, your mirror will get those black spots on it because that um, the uh, condensation, once you close that compact, if there's water in there, it gets behind the mirror. So here's what I have. This is not pretty. And if you're going, Antoine, that does not look like, you know, your other one. 
<coughs> here comes the magic. So what I do is I will take a paper towel, and if you're kind of um, crafty, you get a paper towel or something with designs on it, like little flowers, or you can use anything. But my point right now is to start bringing up the water. So I'm going to just kind of lay it in there and press down. And look at all that water that's coming up right now. This also levels it out. And just keep doing it. Just keep taking it down. And you'll do this several times. And the better that you get at it, the less water will start coming up at this point. So see where it's starting to go? All Everything that came up over the edges is actually going to get um, just kind of drawn out. I'll take it out with a little... Um, a, a little chopstick or something, but I'm softly pressing so until now I'm kind of feeling, well, wait a minute, there's not that much water coming up. Now I start pressing a little bit harder because I'm trying to compact it, trying to get back that pressed powder. But if you think about it, this was all crunched up loose powder, right? All over the place. And you know what, if you make a mistake and you push too hard, or you, um, you know, it flows out over. There's nothing you can't fix. There's nothing you can't um, hurt and then take care of. So you see what's happening now. What's going on? It's starting to happen. What I do then is I will keep pressing until I almost have no water left in here coming up off of my towel. And I'm pressing now hard. Now I'm pushing down hard because I'm really trying to compress that loose powder so it becomes what it was before. It goes back. I don't want it to be loose. I want it to be really tight in there. All right, so it's about there. What I do now, I take a paper towel and I'm gonna grab my lipstick here in a minute. We're gonna grab the lipstick real quick. What I do is I'll take a paper towel and I'll let it sit open. Super, super important with a paper towel right over it, just to pick up any moisture. And I leave it like that for about a day, two days, till I really feel confident that all that water, all that moisture is out. Now, the lipstick, right? So if I wanna go with this Shishi Compact, which I do, um, what you do is you take your favorite lipstick, put it in the freezer, you guys know this, I'm sure, and you push it all the way up, Take a paper towel, grab it from the base, all the way at the base, and give it a little shimmy up and down, back and forth, till it, ooh, comes out. And then you take, that's your lipstick bullet, then you take your lipstick, and you're gonna bring it somewhat up. Put it right in. And then push it down so it engages. Look at that. Now, it's in here. And now, it's in there. So now look at what I have. I have my powder, my blush, and my lipstick, all in one thing. It beats having powder, blush, and like an ugly lipstick tube somewhere, right? All this in my purse, oh, and, and a brush. This is so much easier, it's so much better. I have everything all compact, duh. Let me put this aside because that's all well and good. Now we're gonna get really interesting. Um, so you guys know I used to work in a lab. I don't know, it's kind of my kitchen is now my lab. But if you have a lipstick that you're going, you know what, and we've all been there and we've done it with, um, let me clean up a little bit because I'm gonna need a little microwaving. We're gonna, we're gonna work with heat now. Um, if you've ever gotten a lipstick and you went, oh, you know, I just wish it was a little bit redder or a little bit bluer or a little bit more coral or a little bit pinker, you know what I mean. No one's lipstick is all going to be perfect for every person in the world. And I've run into that all the time. Maybe it's because my skin color changes through the year. You know, summer I'm darker, winter I turn this greenish yellow. So... This is a little hack that you guys can do. It's fun, it's easy, and you're making your own lipstick. And most of these things can be found absolutely anywhere. So let's start with this. Let me bring all my lipstick stuff over. We're gonna start with this tube of lipstick. Hold on. Oh, it's gonna be nice, the peach. Oh, 
So I'll go over everything that I have here so you guys know what I'm working with. Sorry. Um, where's my pink lipstick? Oh, here it is. Okay, here's an example. So, I'm dark skinned, right? When I put this on me, it looks good there. When I go here, it kind of kind of disappears into nothing because I'm dark skinned. So what I need to do, what you can do, is I'm going to play with this one a little bit. I'm going to take it completely out. Now what you can do is use that freezer trick and put it in the freezer and pull it out. But since I'm going to completely demolish this one, I'm just going to pull it right out. So I'm going to take it out, out of the tube, it's gone. But it's in my little petri dish, okay? Now, a couple things that we might, we might want to do to it. Do you want to make it darker? If you want to make it darker or redder, you're going to add blues to it, little bits of blues. If you want to make it lighter and more opaque, like for me, I need, I want a pink. I want a Barbie doll pink. Can't get it because my lips are already dark. But if I add a white opaque to this Barbie pink, it's going to be that. And I know, I know, I could use makeup first. I can put foundation down, powder, then put on my lip. Please, do I look like I have time for all that? I just want to put on the lipstick and make it work like the other girls do. So I'm going to add a little white to it to make it more opaque. But you get the idea. Maybe you have a red. Maybe you have, um, you know, a coral and you want more coral, more red. Just go and get these different colors. You learned this in kindergarten. Yellow plus, what is it? Yellow plus green makes blue. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> kindergarten. So, all right. So here's what we're going to do. So we've got our lipstick. I'm gonna go with an opaque, so I'm gonna use a white. I like to use um, essential oil, peach. You don't have to do this part, but I just love, geez, since I'm gonna make it, why don't I add something that I love to smell and it's gonna be soft on my lips, right? So I'm gonna add a couple drops of peach essential oil. Don't have to do it, but why not go all the way, right? Um, the other thing that I have is a lipstick mold. These you can get anywhere. Um, sometimes they come in sixes, but I just got this little one because I, you know, was just trying to figure it out. And then, of course, I get something to put my creation in. Are you kidding me right now? Can you see this on your screen? <gasps> okay, wait a minute. Wait for it. Let me show you. Hold on. Look at what's inside. Oh, my God. I'm not done. <laughs> yes. We're grown-up women. Why are we carrying around plastic? No. This is sterling silver. I'll talk about that later. That's <laughs> a whole other show. All right, but let's get back to the makeup. All right, so we got our pink in. Now, where's our white? Where's our white? Here's what I do. So I'll take the white and I'll cut it in. Where's my knife? Sorry, I'm so, if I did this in my kitchen, this would work better for me. So I take my white and I'll just start cutting it and put it in. Take that, put it in. Don't worry about it. We're going to microwave this. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do the whole thing. I'm going to do the whole thing. I never did a whole one before. So I wonder how cool that's going to look. <laughs> Listen, we're used to doing stuff live. So, all right. So there it is. So here is the pink and the white tube. Lipstick I was eh over. And then lipstick um, that I'm going to try to make. Here's my essential oil. Just going to put a little drop in there. I might add more a little bit later. And I'm going to get my mold ready. So here's the thing with the mold, you guys. It goes fast. So if you are not ready, once this comes out of the microwave, you're going to have to do it again. Nothing wrong with it. Just remember, there's nothing you can't fix. That's what I love about this. All right, where's the mold? Oh, you know what I want to do? So I'm going to open the mold. Let me show you how this works. You unscrew it. These are nice because they're stainless steel. Um, and there's the top to it, and then it actually opens this way, and you can make bullets, lipstick bullets. And what I like to do, which again, you don't have to do it, I add a little oil into each one, just for slide, like just so that when I go to take these out, that they'll slide a little bit better, and that's that. Okay, so I'm gonna close these back up, get them ready for the pour. Remember, you've gotta be on your game. Once that comes out of the microwave, it's go time. And it's really hot, so be really, really careful. I didn't bring my mitts, so I wonder how that's going to go now. Okay, this is ready. And once it comes out, we're going to give it a spoon. Let me give it one of these. Are you nervous? Are you scared? 
<laughs> All right, in she goes. Kids, don't try this at home. All right. Oh, this is a turn. This isn't a, what kind of a turn? <laughs> can we miss this? All right, I'm gonna go 30 seconds first. You gotta kind of, and yet it'd be good if you knew your own microwave. Start, oh wait, here, 30, here we go. So let's kind of watch it, because you don't know what your lipstick is, how quickly your lipstick's gonna melt or not. So sometimes, some lipsticks are gonna go quick, and you don't want them in there boiling, you just wanna melt them out. So in other ones, it'll take one minute, two minute, never two minutes, more like one, one and a half minute. And um, so it's going, we're watching. We're gonna see it when it comes out. <sighs> so nervous, okay. Let me get my wrench and my hemostat. <laughs> All right, let's see, I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like. Turn it this way. Okay, so take a look at that. See, we're starting melting. You guys see that? Oh, look at that. Let's go again. This is what we want to do, and it's in little pieces. If you're going, Antoine, I'm just going to go buy my own lipstick. Okay, but it's never going to be the perfect shade for you. <laughs> and you're going to look in the mirror, and you're always going to go, I wish it was just a little bit redder, a little bit pinker, a little bit bluer, a little bit more coral. Come on, you guys, this takes what? All of 60 seconds to do. The guys filming this right now are so bored. They have no clue what we're talking about. Like they wanna go home and just like gouge their eyes out. Okay, here we go. Oh, we got meltage. Here we go. Oh, geez, okay. Okay, you smell the peach? All right, now, woo -hoo. looky there. Can y'all see? I'm gonna give it a little swirl, swirl. Okay, but you can, I'm just trying. Now, if you've got, I'm just gonna pour. I'm gonna pour, I'm getting nervous. Cause this dries really fast. Pour, 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 whoopsies. And I'll do it, I don't think I'll do a second tube, it'll look bad. Okay, it's in. Now, that went really well. It could have gone really bad. Um, so now we're just gonna put this in the freezer. 15 minutes. We're gonna pull it out, we're gonna open it up. It's gonna be like the angels singing and we're gonna have our very own lipstick that we're gonna put in our very own beautiful lipstick case that we can use all the time. So no more ugly plastics, no more um, lipstick that doesn't look right on me. Wait till you see how beautiful this is. 15 minutes, meet me back. Okay, so here's the big reveal. This is where I get really excited <laughs> and really nervous again. Okay, here it is, can you see it? Can they see it? Now, very carefully unscrew the knob because everything can go sideways from here and all your work, or it'll just, it'll be for naught. All right, so you unscrew the screw and what I'm hoping to happen is it's gonna open up and reveal a lipstick bullet. Okay, we'll lay it on its side. Oh, I'm so nervous. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. That's how life is. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Say what? <laughs> oh, it looks so pretty. Okay, okay. Let's take it out and we're gonna get, now I know this is ugly and I said it was ugly, but I forgot to bring some of my pretties that weren't loaded. Did you notice my pretties up here that are loaded? All right, so you're gonna bring this all the way up. Bring your lipstick all the way up. And on the inside, you're gonna see a little carriage um, that's gonna hold your bullet. All right, so I'm gonna put this down. Again, you take a little paper towel and you're gonna wiggle, wiggle, wiggle from the base. Here we go. Oh, this is another point where it could get bad. You have to be careful. Remember, anything that you break, um, see, look at it, look at it, look at it, see it? Ooh, 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 there it is. Look at it. Okay, right in. There goes the bullet, right in. Take it and push it down. <laughs> Don't be afraid to push it. If you break it, just take a match or a lighter. Let's see it going in. You're gonna push it all the way down into that carriage. And, oh, it's so good. Okay, then it works, see? Now, let's see if I did a good job. Remember I said about my lips, no, I can't get it opaque, so they're dark. I can't get like Barbie lipstick. Barbie lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
You can't get this at the, at the counter. Uh-uh. That's really good, you guys. So that's what I do when I'm not at work. <laughs> I do lots of weird stuff, you guys. So um, let me know what you think of all this, okay? That's it. My name is Antoinette, by the way. Have a great night. Bye-bye.